Welcome to the Dome Dog Podcast. I'm your host, Matt DeBritz. Wow. What a day for Syracuse fans, Syracuse basketball, college basketball. That's all everyone's talking about. I've been on the phone all day with texts, emails, tweets, Facebook, Instagram, uh, just plain old-fashioned phone calls. Uh, people are shocked. People are unhappy. People are some people are really happy. Um, there's a lot to go on here with with Bayheim and Syracuse, but I'll tell you one thing. You know, some of the headlines that Jim Bayheim is retired, and I looked at the press release and I listened to the press conference several times, and nowhere in there does it say retired. So, was this the plan the whole way? Did he know? Um, in the press conference, he said on Saturday he gave his retirement speech, and in the press conference after the Wake Forest game on Saturday, he had. Uh, but he never really said, hey, this is my last game. Um, then when he was pressed about it today, he said it's up to the school. It's up to the school. So was he just? did he just mean having a consultant job is up to the school, or do you mean being a coach is up to the school? Was he forced out? Uh, was he made aware of the plan? Did they tell him right after the press conference that he's no longer the coach? Because after the press conference, not even an hour later, I'm getting text messages, phone calls. Hey, Beheim's out. I'm like, no, he's not. I listened to the whole press conference. At the end, he said, it's up to the school. Well, whatever the case, the school came out with a release saying Adrian Autry is a new head coach. Uh, he was a player at Syracuse. He's been on the bench for a while as assistant coach. He's recruited a lot of guys in the team right now. So the new era begins. Uh, whatever the case may be, I know it's never great when someone retires. Uh, I shouldn't say that. People retire sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're sad, uh, sometimes they're not sure what to, to feel, and sometimes it's messy when someone has to leave a job they've been in for a long time. Uh, but uh, I just feel like it could have been handled a different way. You know, Saturday would have been a great jumping off point to just say at the end of his speech to clarify and say, I'm done after the season's over. So everybody knew, you know, would have, would have brought more questions that day. Yeah, but so what? I mean, he was in such a great mood because the 2003 team was there because they had won the game. You know, today you lose the game and, and you lose Jim Beheim. And it's it's weird. You know, it's it's just going to be a weird feeling to see Jim Beheim not there. I know I'm not always positive and always best. I've always I've been critical of him at times. But, you know, this this whole way that they had him go out is just strange. And um, a lot of things are going to happen coming in the next few weeks. Will Jerry McNamara now leave the program? I'm sure someone's going to transfer. What's next? A lot to come soon.